I am Christine Peace, and this is The Morning Dive. I am from Santa Monica, California, and I am doing an aerial hoop performance. I was attracted to the morning dive shoot because I saw it on YouTube and I thought it was incredible to do an underwater aerial performance. <laughs> yeah, no, no, like I still can do waterproof everything. Yeah, it's no, just no, no, no. Yeah. my eyes will like feel it and then yeah. they'll like want to water. So okay. I just, I like close my yeah. eyes during eyeliner. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Right now, I am currently running an aerial program at a dance studio, and I am performing, and I just started creating my own costumes. I have aerial hoop experience. I'm a professional aerialist, and I perform on silks and hoop and hammock. Okay. I know. <laughs> okay. I know. Okay, okay let's do it. Oh, gotta kind of move fast. Oh. I do have experience shooting underwater. I've been shooting underwater for about six years now. If you hold it, yeah. and maybe you can't do the, you know, uh, where you go upside down. Yeah, you can't do that. Uh huh. But maybe if you hold it, you can go like this. Okay. And stuff like. You know, this one? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. And if you're floating a little, it's okay. Yeah. Okay? Okay. And make sure you're facing this way. Because if you're facing that way, you're gonna, your back will be... So, like, how you are right now uh -huh. is perfect. Okay. Work with that way. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'm going at it. Uh -huh. Some of my strong points to shoot underwater, one of them is the ability to relax my face and hold my breath for a long time. I am a little nervous to shoot underwater, but I also remember how peaceful and relaxing it can be. So I'm sure once I get underwater, it'll be great. I am looking forward to the pool being 74 because I think that is warm. So hopefully it will be, and I will let you know soon. I think shooting with the aerial hoop will be very fun and challenging. Um, it's always challenging to deal with the prop and it's also challenging to stay under and on the hoop. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. If you want to shoot with an aerial hoop underwater, I would practice on an aerial hoop first, the poses that you would like to do, and I would keep them extremely simple. I found it hard. Um, I've Every time I've done an aerial hoop, it's been weighted, so it was a complete new challenge for me to have a hoop that was not weighted. <laughs> I don't like that. Can you see me more? <sighs> yeah, it looks pretty. I know you're used to the weighted, yeah. so you're, you're not going to get that full effect, but I mean, I'm oh, happy I with it. it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, it's not, I know what you're talking about yeah. where you can actually, when it's weighted, but yeah. I think it's pretty. Okay. Yeah. So, but I, I really want to do this one where you're kind of holding the side. And like I'm on the just side? Arching, no, you're just, oh, okay, you're, you're okay. like arching off of it. You know, you okay. can even keep it close to you because obviously mm -hmm. it's not weighted so you're not going to be able to have it up here and you here right but it will look you can move your like that i think it'll look really pretty okay or you can put your feet out to the side okay 
I think um, the ability to hold your breath and be in different positions in the water um, and holding your breath. So being upside down is, is completely different than being upright. I love my experience shooting with Mary. She's wonderful. She is always so sweet and helpful. Um, especially if you're, you know, having a hard time, she's always very, very helpful. I was most proud of how long I was able to stay underwater and do multiple poses with, with one breath. If I were to shoot aerial hoop underwater again, I would probably find out first if the hoop is gonna be weighted or not. Um, nothing funny happened during the aerial hoop shoot, but it was very interesting to play with the angles that we did our poses. It came out with very different shots. As a professional aerialist, I would say that hoop underwater is much different than outside of the water because of gravity and something that might seem so simple outside of the water like sitting on the hoop is very challenging underwater because you'll just float up. Oh, something you might not know is that if you go underwater and you let all of the air out, you can stay at the bottom for a lot longer. To see more videos of me on the morning dive, click the link below.